Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share with you what my puzzle goals are for the month of November. Now I did a video like this last month and I set out 15 puzzles, I believe or so, and I ended up getting 17 done. So I think I've lined up 17 more puzzles for November, but today is the ninth. So let's see what I have gotten done so far. Now, if you watch this channel, you will have seen videos on quite, not quite a few, but a few puzzles that I finished. So without any further ado, and in no particular order, let's get started. The first puzzle I have for you is one of two. I wish I had the other one out. Oh, it's right here. I've got two of these. So I wanna do one in November and one in December. So they're both called Rustic Lodge and they're different puzzles. And I believe the artist is Dominic Davison, if I'm not mistaken. I, I'm guessing on the artist. Yes, these are Seiko Jigsaw Puzzles and the illustrator or the artist is Dominic Davison. I'm trying to avoid the, gl the glare. So I have two of these and this is the one that I plan on doing for December. Rustic Lodge, and it probably has a sub name, but I can't find it. But that's not important because you see the puzzle. Sorry for the mess there. Then I would like to show you one Amy Stewart that I have lined up for November, and this is her Coloring Days jigsaw puzzle. Now, last month I did Artist Studio and Evil Jigsaw Puzzle, which had a lot of art implements in it, and that's what this one does here. But I love this one, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. I think I bought it back in August, so I've been wanting to do it for a few months, but that's one of the ones that I will be doing for November. I like to do at least one Cats Puzzle a month. So what Cats Puzzle have I picked out? Well, Steve reads all things nice. This is the one that I picked out. Now, when I do my haul video, I believe this will be in my haul video because I bought this second hand. But I'm showing it to you now because it's in my November puzzle goals. Then I'd like to show you three inside out puzzles that were my November puzzle goals, but I've gotten them done. And this box is empty because I haven't put the puzzle back in the box. This is Inside Out City Living. Last month I did Inside Out Walden's Manor House. Well, this is City Living. The Inside Out puzzles show the insides of whatever scene they're in. This is what it would be like on a busy city street in the inside of houses, apartments, offices, a, a fruit stand or a vegetable stand. And so this was a lot of fun. I finished this one last night. Another inside out puzzle that I did this month, and this was a few days ago, is called Sophia's Dollhouse. It's right here. And I'm putting this in this video because it, it was in my November puzzle goals. Now, when I say puzzle goals, I use the iCollect app. And I think what I'll do is I will uh, do a quick screen capture and show you what it's like when I set my puzzle goals and when I complete my puzzles by means of the iCollect app. So that's why I put the box down so that when I edit this video, I can incorporate that clip. So I go to the iCollect app on my iPhone and I go into sort and I section sort it by collection. And the first thing you see here is December puzzle goal simply because it's done alphabetically. Then my goal for September. And then as we get to November, I'm going to slow the video down. So I go into each puzzle and I choose where to put it in collection. And in this case, the puzzles that I'm showing you in this video, I have put in a video, excuse me, in a folder called or a collection called November Puzzle Goals. And that's what you see right there. And I also create a collection for what I finished. So I named this collection November Puzzle Finishes. So it currently has the four puzzles that I completed in November. 
The next inside out puzzle I want to show you is called Fields Department Store. And when I bought Fields Department Store on Amazon, these were sold together for I think like $27. And so I bought them both at the same time. Now, the thing about Fields Department Store is I assumed that it had to be Marshall Fields in Chicago, where my husband worked for about 20 years. He was born and raised in Chicago. I was born and raised in Boston, but I lived in Chicago for a while. Now, that was my assumption. Well, when I Googled Marshall Fields and found out that the columns that you see in the store in this puzzle, that's what Marshall Fields is known for. In fact, it's now a historic landmark on State Street in Chicago. So I loved doing this one. I really, really did. Now, I picked out four Charles Wysocki jigsaw puzzles. I have maybe 40 in my collection and I've done more than half of them. And I'm always buying more Wysocki puzzles on the Puzzle Buy Sell Trade Facebook group. And Whenever I see a Wysocki puzzle that I don't already own, I usually put in a bid for it. And so, therefore, I, will, I, I always seem to have three or four that I can line up for that month. So, one of the ones I have picked out, it's called The Farm. And it's right here. And I'm thinking that this may be my next puzzle. I'm not quite sure, but this one is called The Farm. And I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, I think so far everything I've showed you has been 1,000 pieces and with the exception of one puzzle, every puzzle I will be doing for November is pretty much 1,000 pieces. So there is the farm. Then we have, oh my goodness, Dampy Donuts on a Dreary Day. I had this in my September queue. I had this in my October queue, and now I'm moving it to my November queue. I will get to it. It's dreary, and maybe that's why it's not setting a high priority for jigsaw puzzles, but I do want to work this puzzle. So maybe I'll start it just to get it started and maybe I'll enjoy it. But it's not, I don't know, it's just not calling to me, but I'm going to get it done. Another Charles Wysocki puzzle, I have it's called memory maker and as you can see I'm still choosing whatever fall puzzles I have in my collection and this is one of them again another child's Wysocki puzzle and the last Wysocki puzzle I have picked out for November is called Old Bucks County again another autumn puzzle and I think that I will enjoy working on this because it's still autumn and I have these in my stash. Now, this one I've had for a while and didn't realize it. It's called From Sea to Shining Sea and it's a bunch of lighthouse scenes. I bought this puzzle, I forgot what it's called, but I bought it from Cobble Hill. So I'm gifting it to my friend Hope because I discovered it's the same image. Now from Sea to Shining Sea, it says it's by P.D. Moreno. And I love lighthouses, so I'm looking forward to doing this, but I wanna get at least one or two Charles Wysocki puzzles done first. So that is one of the Marine collection from Buffalo. You see it says Marine. I have a few of these, a turtle, uh, some dolphins, and maybe one or two other marine puzzles, but that's what this one is. Now, this is an empty box because I glued this puzzle, but I don't think I can quite get to it. But this was put in as a November puzzle goal. And this is one that I actually completed, I believe on November 1st or 2nd. This is called a Chicago Transit Map from New York Puzzle Company and it's 500 pieces. So I think I'm going to pause the video and show you the puzzle that I have done already. Give me a moment. So you're going to see this when you see the wrap up video for November, but I glued this puzzle. I was showing you the box in portrait mode, but I should have been showing you the box in, let's do this right. I'm trying to do this one handed. The puzzle is in I was showing it to you in landscape mode, but the puzzle is in portrait mode. So I glued this for my husband. We haven't hung them yet. 
but this is a Chicago transit map puzzle and it was my first November puzzle finish. Now I've got two Cobble Hill puzzles that I want to do. So move these out of the way. And one is called Com Comfortable Rainbow. It's kind of a gradient puzzle with patterns and it says rainbow. And I just thought it was a really cute quilty type puzzle. It's Cobble Hill. I think I got this from Zulily. I'm pretty sure this was a Zulily purchase. And so that I have lined up for November. And another Cobble Hill I have lined up for November is called Through Swirly Railings. And I love this puzzle. And just as I'm showing you these puzzles right now, I, I wanna do this one, I wanna do that one. But November's got only 30 days, so I will get to it. But this is called Through Swirly Railings. And it's going to be a busy puzzle, but I am very eager to do it. Now it's interesting, Cobble Hill puzzles are, are come in so many different size boxes. I just wanted to show you. You've got this size box for loose woolly railings, this size box for comfortable blankets, and this fall puzzle I did a month or two ago, and it's a 500 piece puzzle. So I, I don't understand why companies have different size boxes, but that's what happened here. Okay, just three more puzzles that I've got lined up for November. This is a gradient puzzle from Truffle, and I think it's called Gradient Rainbow. And I'm trying to show it to you with as little glare as possible. I love gradient puzzles, and you saw comfortable blankets, so I have two gradient type puzzles that I will be doing for November, and this is great. Now, I work a lot of puzzles in bed because of my back and my legs, but I think I'm going to work this on the table and just do work on one color at a time. So we'll see how this one goes. You'll see when I make the wrap up video. Every month I do a couple of Ibu puzzles. Last month I actually did four, but for November I picked out two. This one is called Reading and Relaxing, a 1000 piece square Ibu puzzle. And the artist for this one why don't I know this? Well, we'll talk about that when I do the puzzle. But it's called Reading and Relaxing. Very appropriate for me. I love it. And the last puzzle I picked out for November is another reading puzzle. It's called Women Reading. Busy, busy, but I love busy puzzles. Now, I chose these two as opposed to choosing a Colin Thompson. I was going to choose a Colin Thompson puzzle, but I said, no, let me get a couple more Ibu puzzles because I'm at 50 right now and I think I have one or two coming. So I need to continue to work on my Ibu puzzles. So um, Women Reading is one of the puzzles that I have lined up for November. As I mentioned, I'm not showing you these puzzles in any particular order, just all puzzles that I have lined up for November. So I want to thank you for watching and keep an eye on this channel because I keep showing puzzle progress photos that I compile into videos. And I want to appreciate, thank you, and I appreciate you for watching this channel. Have a good one. Bye-bye.